Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today's clip we're going to be talking about the importance of scalp health and possibly ways of how to improve that. The whole idea of this clip came into my mind actually a couple of weeks ago um, and I kind of kept it in mind just because I've been noticing a couple of things in the last couple of weeks where I've been noticing a few more hairs falling away. I've jumped straight on and I've taken action where I have gone in uh, to starting the Viviscal supplement which is a health hair growth supplement which I have just started in, in incorporating into my diet, which I have a healthy diet anyway, um, but I just noted a, uh, a few parts of my scalp is starting just to change, um, which might well be natural. I have had a lot of stress into 2020, um, but I seriously just want to get on top of that, just because hair is quite a big thing about what, who I am, um, and everybody kind of knows me for my hairstyle, and I just really want to keep on top of having the best hair possible. And you'll note throughout my channel, I do review a lot of products for creating the best hair possible, and I do have fine hair but I have quite a lot of it so keeping it the best way possible is quite important to me and it's something I very much enjoy. Okay so looking after your scalp and keeping it in the best possible uh, health I've been thinking about for a little while. Now I actually came across something uh, online possibly a couple of weeks ago may even be one or two months ago now and it was all about that from not taking proper uh, health uh, not taking proper care, I should probably say, um, of your scalp being a man is actually exacerbating hair loss more and is actually increasing it to thin out much more quicker. And actually, when I seen this, I actually thought about this and I thought, how much time do I actually take on my scalp? Yes, of course, we all spend lots of time and we spend a lot of money, of course, on products which are aimed at looking after our hair, keeping our hair thick, full, and of course, looking after it in terms of shine, maybe color, if you're a woman or a man, of course, of different aspects of what we have concerns around our hair. For me, I want my hair to be as thick as possible. And for a lot of other young men, that will be the same. But however, how often do we take the time to look after our scalp? So since then, I've really started to take the time taking two or three minutes, really taking that deep approach of massaging my scalp with the shampoo and then with the conditioner. And I have actually started to notice a change. Number one, it's actually quite sort of therapeutic to your scalp if you've got any problems with your scalp. Uh, if they're maybe a little bit out of balance, might be a bit like tight, itchy, that type of thing. If you're taking the time to uh, really invigorate and get that blood flow going to your scalp and your follicles, number one, the follicles are going to get the blood flow much more with the nutrients what's in your body if you have a very good diet, so that's going to hopefully help. Of course, this is not miracle workers. This is just something which will improve and hopefully improve the health of your hair and your scalp, which of course where the hair starts from. So it's important to take the approach of really looking after our scalp. Now, in this article which I had a look at very often it was that through not looking after our scalp it's causing so many more problems and making possibly men's hair loss worse and then actually taking the approach of it when you actually look online at the different things of taking the approach of massaging your hair there are so many stories that it has helped have thicker hair for men and women and there's lots of stories are they true of course there's no real way of knowing but just by trying it yourself so what i am doing is starting taking that time for my scalp health and really massaging really getting my scalp integrated and really going and of course it's quite soon it's quite new so it's not something which we will know straight off but i have to admit my scalp feels healthier it feels a little bit more comfortable very often if you've used hairspray or if you've used a lot of sort of styling products such as texturizing powder to get that lift and volume in your hair you can be left with your scalp feeling a little bit dry a little bit out of balance so really getting that scalp going with that more uh, that mass massaging and bringing that blood flow up to the follicles can only be good. Now moving on from that, keeping our scalp in the best health possible, a lot of people think this is quite strange and I actually learnt this from when I had my hair uh, cut and washed actually um, in a, in a barber's local to where I live. Um, I don't just mean a typical, uh, a typical sort of older style barber's. Um, they actually go through the whole phase of the condition and the health of your hair and your scalp and it was a great experience and since then i've always washed my hair twice so that might sound strange but number one if you have hair product and you have a lot of styling products in your hair what's really vitally important is washing that out first of all however if you think about it if it's washed all of the products out of your hair it's not really got down to cleansing those follicles and those ingredients very often in our shampoos and conditioners such as caffeine, such as essential oils and products which help our hair to grow thick and full. How is when it's concentrating on getting those products out of your hair, how is it actually getting down to your scalp health? So that's why 
I was actually informed that washing the hair first of all is a really great way of getting all that product built up. Number two, getting those products working on your scalp and getting those real products going on your cuticle of your hair and the scalp where the follicles are really taking in those ingredients. So that's why I always wash my hair twice and then of course condition afterwards as well and getting that massage going on your scalp. Of course both ways you're helping that product build up getting rid of those ingredients on your from those uh, products which you're using which can sometimes be quite poor clogging and can possibly leave behind residues in the follicles as well. So number one, you're washing all of that away. Number two, you're getting those ingredients, what's in your shampoo and your conditioner. Possibly you are using expensive brands, possibly you're using supermarket brands or even slightly cheaper as well. Doesn't matter. You want those ingredients to work for you, not against you. So using that for a second time gets that going on your scalp. We have covered then so far massaging your scalp for improved health. We don't know necessarily if that works 100%. There are lots of stories online which tell us that there is. Of course, but we will only know for true fact by doing it ourselves. And I am certainly noticing a difference. Yes, at the moment, having a little bit of an outbalance with the hair, which and I have to admit, yes, I've done a Viviscal review, but I'm not losing excessive amounts of hair, but I am concerned. Everybody knows what's normal for them. And at the moment, the amount of hairs, which I'm seeing when I wash my hair, just causes me a little bit of a concern, a little bit of alarm. So prevention is always better than cure. So I'm jumping straight in with it. And I am taking a Viviscal supplement. So another thing which could be good for scalp health as well is supplement your diet. Very often we have really busy lives where we don't necessarily have time to take a full lunch or people possibly just don't like fruit and vegetables. It can be a whole host of reasons. So another way of increasing your scalp health, which of course in turn gives us great hair for great style, is supplementing our, our hair and our health with a supplement. This could be Viviscal. It could be something such as Centrum. It could be just a normal supermarket brand. Of course, it's always going to supplement our health, our body, our energy levels, and of course, our hair and of course, our skin as well, which is great in turn for looking after our scalp, which of course, my clip is all about today. Another one as well, which is really just very, very simple and keeping good scalp health for our hair is knowing when enough is enough. And I know I'm a fine one to talk because I'm doing so many clips in terms of reviewing products and for hair styling. But really come of an evening, if you were to catch me and look at me then, I don't have, very a lot of the time, I don't have a product in my hair. And when I say sometimes enough is enough for our scalp, once you've been up five, six o'clock in the morning, very much like myself, and you're going to work, you've got product built up in your hair all day, it could be hairspray, it could be free spray, it could be styling powder. Goodness knows what, it could be so many products in our hair. Which of course is great, looks really, really nice all day. Then come about six, seven, maybe eight o'clock, it's time then to get rid of that. Let your hair breathe. Vitally important to let your hair breathe and be itself. Let those natural oils come back into your hair and your scalp and let your hair basically do its thing. Our body is an incredible and incredible temple and it does very often look after and rejuvenate itself. If you have a healthy diet, then very often you have the chance that your hair problems will revert themselves. Now, I don't necessarily mean if you have female pattern thinning or male pattern thinning. Of course, that's slightly different. But if you have problems around stress or product buildup, or perhaps you've excessively bleached or coloured your hair. And of course, men and women do that as well. Taking the time to let your hair be itself and rest is just fantastic, can only be good for hair health. So my clip all today was all about taking the time to really improve scalp health and really in turn, then you're going to be getting healthier hair. And this always got me started from thinking about this uh, sort of recent clip I seen online about taking the time and actually not concentrating on your scalp could possibly be helping men's hair loss actually exacerbate and get worse. So really do, like myself, take the time to really get invigorated on your scalp hair. Um, health balance and really get those sort of massages going take the time to switch off from products of an evening and really let your hair do its thing double shampoo and of course possibly even supplement your hair if that's a concern for you just like it is for me at the moment 2020 has been really really tough and there's a lot of stress been going on and quite awful horrific things so if that's you if i've just said that as well and that relates to you as well it's important to take the time to look after your scalp as well. OK, thank you very much for watching my clip today and I wish you a healthy head of hair. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.